Good morning students. I hope you all are fine and I welcome you to the science class. As you all know that we are studying the chapter combustion flame and fuels and we have studied the types of combustion criteria of a combustion uh, fuels characteristics of ideal fuel and what happens when fuels are burnt and all. So today we are going to study about the last topic of this chapter that is fire and fire extinguishers. So as we all know that burning produces fire, I mean combustion produces fire, it is useful as well as harmful, you know. We make small fires in a gas stove to cook our food. This is a useful fire. Without fire we cannot cook food, you know, or we cannot heat uh, water or everything. But when fire breaks out in a house, office, factory, you know, anywhere, then the fire is harmful. So it can cause the loss of life or property. So uh, now you got to know that fire is both useful as well as harmful. Useful when it's uh, when uh, uh, you know uh, when it's in a controlled manner. And if it's not controlled on time properly, then it becomes harmful. Then it can um, cause excess damage. And this process of extinguishing a fire is called fire fighting. So as we already know that any fire needs three things to be present i mean combustible substance air and heat so uh, how, how do you think that we can extinguish fire we can extinguish fire if we remove any of these three substances like we can uh, extinguish fire in three ways by removing the fuel by removing the heat or by cutting off the air supply to the burning substance so when we when do we remove the fuel for example, when the fire starts in a room, all the combustible substances should be removed at once so that fire may not spread. If possible, cooking gas cylinder should be removed and electricity should be switched off. And remove the heat. Water is used to remove heat from a burning substance and make it too cool to burn further. As we already know that water extinguishes heat by cooling the burning substance. When water is thrown on a burning substance, it gets cooled below its ignition temperature and also stops burning. When uh, You might have seen that when fire brigade men throw a strong stream of water on building on the fire, the burning material gets cooled to below their ignition temperature and the fire is extinguished. The water vapor which is produced by the action of heat of fire on water surrounding the burning material and helps in cutting off the supply of air. So, firemen extinguish the fire by throwing water under pressure on the burning things. You might have seen that they throw the stream of water uh, to the house or anything that's on fire. The fire uh, produced by burning oil and petrol cannot be extinguished by using water. And why is it so? This is because water is heavier than oil and petrol. So, when water is thrown over burning oil, it settles down and the oil floats on water and continues to burn and also the fires caused by electric short circuit in an electrical appliance or in electrical wiring should not be extinguished by throwing water because we know that ordinary water is a good conductor of electri electricity it conducts electricity so when water is thrown over the burning electrical appliance it can give electric shock to the person involved in the Firefight, uh, firefighting. That's why water is not used to extinguish fire caused due to electrical short circuit or caused due to petrol or uh, oil. And cut, now the third point is uh, how we can extinguish the fire is by cutting off the air supply. The air supply to a burning substance can be cut off in a number of ways such as covering the burning substance with carbon dioxide, sand, blanket or a damp cloth. The electrical fires are extinguished by using carbon dioxide gas fire extinguisher. Now you might tell that what do we mean by the fire extinguisher? A fire, uh, you, you might have seen this in, uh, you know, in big malls or in hospitals or, um, you know, or in any government offices that uh, there is this red color uh, uh, red uh, color cylinder that is uh, fixed to the wall that is the fire extinguisher it is a portable apparatus which is often used to put out accidental fire and are painted with red for easy identification so that in case of any emergency people can identify it uh, quickly it contains a substance 
that cools the burning material deprives the flame of oxygen or interferes with the chemical reactions occurring in the flame this extinguishes the fire and what are the advantages of the uh, you know i told you that electric fires are extinguished by using carbon dioxide gas fire extinguisher so you might say how if we cannot use water how can we use carbon dioxide because as we already know that carbon dioxide is denser than air and it forms a layer around the burning substance it covers the fire like a blanket due to which fresh air cannot reach the burning substance it uh, you can say that it stops the supply of oxygen uh, to the burning substance the burning substance does not get oxygen of air and hence stops burning carbon dioxide neither uh, burns itself nor supports burning that's why it is used as a fire extinguisher and it does not harm the electrical equipment the fires caused by the burning of inflammable materials like oil or petrol are also extinguished by using carbon dioxide fire extinguishers and this carbon dioxide used for extinguishing fire can be stored as a liquid at high pressure in cylinders like we use normal fire extinguisher so when released from the cylinder carbon dioxide expands enormously in volume and cools down carbon dioxide not only forms a blanket around the burning substance it also cools down the burning substance i mean it lowers the ignition temperature as well and it stops the supply of oxygen so it takes away the two cri two most important criteria for combustion and hence help in stopping the combustion so uh, i hope this is clear to you next comes the soda acid fire extinguisher so these extinguishers have a metallic cylinder containing saturated solution of sodium bicarbonate a glass bottle containing concentrated sulfuric acid is tied to the cap of the metallic metal cylinder when the knob is struck the acid bottle breaks and the sodium carbonate uh, bicarbonate solution comes into contact with the concentrated sulfuric acid this produces carbon dioxide since carbon dioxide is heavier than air i told you earlier as well. so it forms a blanket over the burning surface and cuts off the contact of air with the burning surface and stops the fire the uh, and uh, but it has one, got one disadvantage the disadvantage of this extinguisher is that it is not effective when oil catches fire so and uh, and we already know that if the clothes of a person working in the kitchen catch fire the person is immediately covered with a blanket when the burning clothes of a person are covered with a blanket the supply of air to the burning clothes is cut off and uh, hence the burning stops so i hope this is clear to all of you okay thank you and have a very good day